This is Rizwan Khan and today we are going to discuss the protein data bank. The PDB which uses and it uses the protein data bank is actually a crystallographic database that provides the three dimensional structure of large um, biological molecules such as proteins and nucleic acids. Their stru these structures are uh, obtained by using X ray crystallography. NMR spectroscopy or cryo-electron microscopy that are usually submitted by biologists and researchers from around the world and that are freely accessible on the internet via the rcsb.org website of the Protein Data Bank. The Protein Data Bank is under the action of Worldwide Protein Data Bank that came into action in, the, in 2000. The PDB is a, the PDB is a key resource in structural biology and they to provide the structural information like uh, structural genomics. The researchers, scientists, microbiologists are required to submit their structural studies to the PDB. Not only them but uh, some databases also submit uh, data to the PDB like uh, some of them are discussed here that is uh, scope and cat that uh, classify the protein structures and while the PDB sum provides a graphic overview of PDB entries using information from other sources such as gene ontology. The protein data bank main mission is to maintain a single, um, a single domain of macromolecular structures data that can be freely available to the global community. These are some structures. Uh, on the left side, you can see uh, the homoglobin structure that is obtained by using X ray crystallography. And on the right side, you can see some of other structures that are, uh, that are obtained by X ray crystallography and are available on the Protein Data Bank website. PDB initiation The Protein Data Bank was established in 1970 by Edgar Muir for profiling of protein structures. The PDB initiation uh, occurred due to two forces. And one of them was uh, there were large sets of protein structure data obtained by X-ray diffraction method. And, and these structures have to be on one domain. So the PDB came into action for that purpose. And the broad method, that is Brookhaven roster display, that was uh, that came into being in 1969, and for the and that con and that showed a large set of protein uh, 3D protein structures. In 2003, the with the formation of uh, Worldwide Protein Data Bank, the PDB became an international organization. As of 1st April 2020, the PDB comprises a total of 1,62,269 protein that, uh, structures. The most of the structures that are studied by using X-ray diffraction, but only a 10% have been studied through protein NMR. A general history of the PDB in the 1970, the protein data bank uh, came into being. In the 1980s, the technology improves and the protein structure deposition increased. Number of structures deposited increased. In 1990s and the structural genomics uh, begins and the PDB moves to the RCB that is now the official um, center, official protein data bank center that is uh, um, in California, US and the WWPDB formed in the protein structures in PDB increase uh, in a large set of, uh, uh, increased while going up through the years there are uh, the pdb uh, has four uh, data bank centers uh, um, rcsb in california and the pdb in europe and japan and biomed uh, research center bank uh, in us these data centers uh, collaborate with each other for the data representation validation and curation in order to produce a highly curated data in the PDB. Research collaboratory for structural bioinformatics, the RCSB, 
also builds powerful resources for research and education on top of the PDB data that are used by researchers, teachers, and students studying biology and its connection to molecular biology, structural biology, computational biology, and pharmacology. Now, for um, finding your molecule in the um, RCSB website, you can go uh, and you can go through the website that is the www.rcsb.org in where you can find your molecule by searching it in the search bar um, search bar by using its uh, pdb id the protein data bank uh, data has its own file format that is assigned by edgar Muir as known as pdb files which is uh, actually a plain text file that can be easily edited with the text editors or word processors and easily readable. The protein data bank data is deposited in a specific format that is usually a PDB ID that contains a four character code of the proteins. For example, the 4HHB is used for homoglobin molecular structure. You can search it in the search bar and can get your molecule. Also, there are other uh, protein such as uh, codes. The protein uh, data bank uses uh, it has uh, a it has played a major role in studying the molecule structure and its interaction. And the RCSB not only provides the structural information but also shares educational tutorials and lesson plans for biologists throughout the world. The PDB101 is a light version of PDB which shows less complicated view of protein data bank. So you should not be overwhelmed by the large complexity of molecules. Uh, and the PDB is used in research and teaching purposes. Uh, and uh, you can uh, use the protein data bank to get the protein sequence in you and, uh, and can get its structural 3D view as well and their structural view you can get its molecule information uh, thoroughly and that's all thank you